Aikuliti here and I'm back with another tutorial. Yes, you are not mishearing things. And we'll be teaching you something and people were like, well, 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 where is the tutorial Mr. Kaliti? Relax, okay? I need some time to do other things and think about life and crap. So I need to think about what should I upload in the next video and yeah, I came up with this. And yeah, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this acrylic paint effect like the ones you see in Class Kids channel. So I've been wondering how did they make this uh, sort of awesome uh, artwork, and the kind of distorted and abstract thing. So I went to Google and search up for um, Cloud Kids uh, artwork, and they say that it's all physical. I use mainly acrylic paint, so. Um, yeah, they, they use the actual paint like the real thing. But today we're gonna be using Photoshop, only Photoshop, so no paint involved. So how cool is that, right? So we can see in his channel or his or her, I don't know what is gender, so I'm not gonna assume that. So we're gonna be using they. So this is their channel. We can see there's some sort of abstractly um, distorted liquid thing, some paint. So it's pretty close to what I've just done to this photo. So um, kind of like this. So this is before. So this is um, the actual, the real photo. And then I use Lookify, and then it turned to something like this. Cool, right? So now, yeah. So before we get started with the tutorial stuff, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So, so first of all, what you're going to do is to open up Photoshop, and then once you've already opened Photoshop, you can go to New and you can just um, use any uh, sort of uh, size you want I'm gonna be using 720p click OK and then boom there it is and then next what you're going to do is just to use any um, any picture any photo so you can use any picture but so I recommend you guys to use the, uh, the photos with one color like this or maybe something like this the the color itself doesn't contradict to each other so uh, so the pictures like this it has green um, yellow red and blue and that is not good right so you're gonna go with something like this which is blue and everything is yeah it's not too far from the spectrum and this is also quite good uh, you know what I'm gonna be using this right so you can just import it you can just drag and drop the picture from the explorer into the, um, the artboard itself uh, on Photoshop and then you can just uh, make maybe something like this and yeah so now once you've already have this picture on your artboard you can just go to uh, you can just right click on the layers here and then go to rasterize layer so next once you've already rasterized the layer you can go to filter and then go to uh, liquify and then boom here it is here is the fun part right so now you can there is a brush okay so first um, so first of all after you go to liquify tool it will display something like this so yeah the functions are not that much so display all, all of that things you can go to advanced mode and then you can just go play around with the size and then make something like this again so you can just um, it's pretty much just like uh, shaking some yolk right okay now you can just go crazy but do not go too crazy because if you did just like I did um, it will missing some colors because as you can see the blacks and the grays appear appears more than the, the yellow one so to fix that you can just go to restore all and then boom it will display the real image so now you can just go something like this and then just go play around with the side so I'm gonna speed up the process hold on a second So now once you've already done so now it looked like kind of like a rock 
So now, once you've already done, you can just click OK. So I kind of like it though. So now, what you can do is you can just go to adjustments and if you think that the colors doesn't really match your um, interest, you can just go to hue and saturation and then uh, change the hue so it kind of look like it's blue. You make it, you can make it blue and you can make it even more golden like that. You can uh, make the saturation even more. Um, so you can make the colors have more presence to it. So now you can just go to the yellows. You can change the yellows into something like a red. Like so it looks pretty cool. And now voila, you can just adjust the freeze transform to like that maybe. Actually, I kind of like it though. Okay, that, I guess that's pretty much it. You can you can just use curves maybe, so you can make so you can make the colors a bit more faded and like that. You can also go to um, level so you can make the blacks more black. What? What? I don't I don't understand. So um, yeah, you can make the blacks appear darker so anyways you can just mess around with that and then click ok so yeah it doesn't look that good like the ones you see in the in, in the here because yeah he, the, he's using I mean they are using actual thing the actual paint but you know what this, this one actually looks pretty cool so wait a second okay so now it looks like a real thing Look at that, I just put the logo of CloudKit and then I just like so hmm, it looks pretty legit so yeah I guess that's pretty much it for the tutorial on how to make a acrylic paint out of a picture any kind of picture you know and yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you really find this tutorial very helpful and don't forget to leave a like if you do feel this tutorial is very helpful and leave a comment down below and yeah don't forget to subscribe to keep updated with my videos and yeah thank you so much for watching my name is Kaliti and see you around bye, -bye.